and welcome to another InstaForex daily market update. Uh, for today, I decided to cover Euro versus US dollar. I will speak about the gold market, crude oil, Bitcoin versus US dollar, and I will speak about NASDAQ 100. I will start with the Euro versus US dollar first. Um, we have here a multi time frame view. So, <clears throat> starting from a daily time frame, we can see that um, yesterday we had an outside candle market actually traded into the uh, moving average. And then we had rejection and more like a pin bar and tail. You can see that's on the bottom left corner in this chart. Now at this point, I will say if the market can retake the tail at 1.0839, there will be a chance for the higher price and potentially for the market to go to the next important pivot level, which is uh, a set around 1.0880 mark. You can see also in the weekly time frame that there was a rejection at this area around 1.0700-710 is key support. And last week we had strong rejection, which led into the rally to this into this week. But as I said, because of this middle uh, close in the middle of the previous day range, um, I will still uh, watch potential. You can see the hourly time frame. We can build higher lows, so that's so far a good sign. And now, if the market can again retake the high at 1.0820 and then try to trade higher, then that will be a good sign for the uh, higher price and a potential test of that 1.0875. Now, speaking of the gold market, this is something that I suggested yesterday. So there was a rejection of the key support around uh, 1985. Um, last week was uh, basically a sign of strength because market closed well off the low on a weekly time frame. There was also the rising 20 week moving average. And we can see the daily time frame is building higher highs and higher lows. You can also see that on the hourly time frame. Uh, five minute just uh, went into more like a correction. But there is a definitely chance for the the next uh, upside reference points are set at 2044 and all the way at 2062 on the weekly time frame. So you can see that 20 the 2044 level it's is this area here. This is also the multi-week uh, pivot level. So um, those are the normal pullbacks, more like a bull flags on hourly time frame, like here. We also had that bull flag here, and um, it's a very uh, healthy, I will say, sign for the further higher prices. The next market I want to cover is uh, crude oil. So this will be the key area for crude oil. I will say, as long the market, as long as the market can hold above seventy-five, uh, I'll say fifty area, which is where we have the where it had rejections of this um, exponential eight uh, moving average on the daily time frame, as long as this area can hold and as long as the market is holding above the 20, <coughs> above the 20 day moving average, which is the, um, this green line, I still see uh, higher prices. And uh, I will say the final confirmation will be the really if the market can trade and hold above 79.17 because this will open the door for uh, even though for the price to go towards 83 or 89.90 mark um, on the short medium term perspective. So uh, so far, I will say key support uh, on the short term on the daily time frame 75.50 and the exponential eight moving average is uh, held well yesterday. So it's at around 77 mark. And uh, weekly time frame, we see the series of the higher lows in the last uh, 10 weeks. And we can see that the higher lows are building else in the last two weeks. So that's overall short term upside trend. And we are near the some important short term support area and moving average. So there is a chance for the higher prices in the next period. Now, speaking of the NASDAQ 100, what, what happened there is the daily time frame we had a close below the 20 exponential moving average. Um, on the daily time frame, and that's quite a hourly time frame had more like a reversion to the mean. So 
this is what happened on the hourly time frame. Now we have this consolidation. So you can see also the 20 uh, exponential declining is right now acting like resistance. So there will be the chance at least for, we'll see for correction if the market can complete this, for example, ABC and try to trade into this 50 exponential or maybe 17.651 or 17.614. So um, we'll see how this will go, but in case of the downside breakout of 17,394, there will be a chance for the retest of 17.155 and this rising 50 day moving average and also 17.145. So far, this was a a stronger rejection yesterday. So there is a chance right per second at least to retest 70,564 before any further downside movement. Now checking the Bitcoin versus US dollar, we can see that uh, hourly is pretty much flat. Uh, there is a lot of noise here on the hourly time frame, taking the highs and lows. But the key, key thing is 52,000 is still holding very well. The daily time frame pretty much like an outside bar, but close in the middle um, and uh, Eight exponential moving average is still holding. In case of the breakout of the fifty thousand seven hundred, um, there will be a chance for the for the price to go towards the forty nine thousand two hundred twenty. From other side, if market can take really this fifty two, uh, let's say fifty three thousand mark, then there will be a chance for forty four forty five thousand mark. And dollar index, um, I see the potential chance for lower prices. Market had a downside day yesterday. This is a key support. If market can retake 10380, uh, there will be a chance on a weekly time frame to go all the way towards the 10312 mark. So it seems like the sellers are in control. The recent swing lows can act like resistance around 104, 13 and 15. So potential for for the downside movement uh, on the dollar index. That will be all for this update, guys. I hope that uh, you did enjoy. Have a good trading day and speak to you from tomorrow morning.